tonight. A Utah National Guard soldier is adjusting to a new reality after a major injury. Kevin Moss was riding his motorcycle yesterday when he was hit by a car and lost part of his leg. Fox 13 News anchor Brian Schnee spoke to the man's mother who came from Texas to be with her son. It's a story you'll only see here. A mother's quick instincts. On Tuesday afternoon, Tavy Moss heard about her son being involved in a crash. I called up there and they just said, yeah, we have um, your son. Um, he's been amputated. And I just, I knew and I knew I had to get there. Her son, Kevin, who she adopted when he was eight years old. He loves the bike. Um, mom didn't, wasn't happy. <laughs> But what mom is happy when their son's like, hey, mom, I bought a bike. Not only does he love riding his motorcycle. That right now is his biggest uh, thing uh, because he, he's always wanted to serve his country. But Kevin also loves serving with the Utah National Guard, who he deployed with to Afghanistan a few years ago. He's worried about providing for his family. Um, he wanted to buy a house. He has a job, that, it, that, but he can only have that job with the guard because he's in the guard, and so he's worried about losing that. According to police, Kevin was riding his motorcycle westbound on 40th South. The driver of the vehicle turned in front, heading north on 13th West. That's when the collision took place. Kevin and his bike both flying into the air, ending up in these weeds. And he looked down and he, he knew his leg was gone. He said it was literally hanging by the skin. Um, on his knee, so he knew. Does that make you emotional to hear that from your son? Yes, it does, yes. But I'm glad that he knew going in and not having to find out after the surgery that it was gone. Kevin lost part of his left leg and in a few months will be fitted for a prosthetic. Does he want to ride again? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Does mom want him to ride again? Sure, no, but I support him. I mean, I understand that that's what he, that's his love and he, you know, take people's love away. Love for his family, serving his country and spending time on the road. He wants people to be aware of, of motorcycles on the road. He's like, it, it happens all the time. And he says, we as drivers need to make sure that we see um, that motorcycles are on the road and they share the road with us and we need to respect their space as well. Walk sign is on to cross 1300 West. The driver who hit Kevin was ticketed by police for turning in front of the motorcycle while the stoplight was changing. Kevin was wearing a helmet at the time of the crash. Just pay attention to the road because for this mom, her son's life has been changed for the rest of his life. In West Valley City, Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah.